From the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Alan Crone. Okay, 47 now past the hour. High today, 78. This morning, we're tracking the potential for some scattered showers and storms. These will be kind of the hit and miss variety. Won't be for everybody. There will be a couple out there. And then the gusty south winds will be commonplace today, 15 to 30 miles per hour, even stronger than yesterday. And then we're going to have uh, opportunity for showers and storms Friday night, early Saturday morning. And we have another system that's going to show up Sunday night, early Monday. So this morning, this general area will have a, some scattered showers and storms. We're going to keep this at a 50% probability through the early morning hours. And let me show you the radar. So this is weakening. Uh, but it will provide at least the chance to lift the atmosphere for a few showers and storms. Stronger storms right now near Clinton and uh, South Fairview and Mutual. And as I told you a couple of minutes ago, there's a process sometimes that will take place with these types of systems on the backside where the pressure drops pretty quickly. We can have some pretty gusty winds. So we're already planning on, you know, gusty winds today. But as this starts to move closer to us, we may see a little uptick of those winds. So this is not rain near Tulsa and Pryor, but that is out to the west. So we do have a chance for the next couple of hours. Then we go into late tonight and early tomorrow morning. This represents a low chance for a couple of spotty showers or storms. Um, that'll be right here on the timeline, all right? This is late tonight, early tomorrow. But look what happens here. We get into Friday afternoon and Friday night, and then we have another chance Sunday night into early Monday. So let's kind of take this for Friday evening. We have a dry line that's going to be near I-35, surface area of low pressure deepening in central Kansas, strong upper-level storm system. That's going to give us a lot of shear, a lot of dynamic energy as well. And we see the risk assessment now is up a little bit, especially in north-central Oklahoma and south-central Kansas. We still have the potential for the layer of warm air loft, the cap, that may limit the number of storms. But some of the data today is suggesting that there will be at least a couple that will try to develop off the dry line by Friday evening. If so, those would have the potential for some high end severe weather threats, very large hail, damaging winds, and a tornado or two. That would be Friday evening early. Now, we get into late Friday night and Saturday morning. This is around midnight to about 5 to 6 o'clock in the morning. The cold front catches up with the dry line and moves in, and there will be at least a narrow line of shower storms near or slightly behind that boundary, and that will be pushing through. So when you see the probability, highest chance is going to be for this cold front late, late Friday night and early Saturday. 65 right now, south wind at 13. It's already kind of breezy. We have temperatures in the 60s. Take a look here. We're running short on time, so I want you to look at the screen. Find your hometown. There you go. Here's the scattered shower storm chances through the morning hours. Strong south winds. Highs today will be into the 70s, near 80. Early tomorrow morning, even though the model doesn't show most of the area seeing shower storms, there will be at least a couple. And then we'll have strong south winds tomorrow, 20 to 40 miles per hour. And there you go. There's just a couple of storms that will try to develop off the dry line tomorrow afternoon. But if they do, those are going to be severe with all modes of severe weather. And then the cold front pushes through. That would be the cold front late Friday night, pre dawn Saturday. Most of the weekend's fine. Sunday night, late into Monday, we have another system, another threat of severe weather Monday, and another system on Wednesday.